title of the new album is Balance. The name of the album is uh, Balance. The name of the new album is Balance. The name of the new record is Balance. And personally, I feel it is the best thing that we've done as far as production-wise and songwriting-wise. Very good. Basically, there's, it's called for <laughs> balance or imbalance on the planet. Um, there's a big imbalance right now, it seems like, and this record is, in my opinion, is balanced. A few records ago, Al had that title. I happen to remember it because I thought it fit this batch of music and just to play some time emotionally and whatever, where we were at this point in time, and I thought it fit the record. Uh, this record is not a concept record. Uh, we have never picked titles that represent the entire album or take it in a certain direction. It's just, uh, you know, Ed has a funny way of, of, of dealing with these things. He says, it's just to let people know we have a new record out now. <laughs> right now we're doing a video for uh, Don't Tell Me What Love Can Do. Don't tell me what love can do. <laughs> Eddie, did you uh, consult these guys when you cut your hair off? No. Yeah. I offered well, to he help. consulted us after he cut his hair off. I offered to help. He yeah, answered what we thought afterwards. <laughs> it's really cool since I cut my hair. Nobody knows who I am. It's great, you know? And uh, Valerie, because my wife cut her hair, too. So they don't quite put it together yet. So I'm sure I don't know. Musicians are very perceptive to what's going on, um, whether it's not in the world or whether it's in other music styles. I mean, you cannot help but have some of it filter in. But the idea is that you you are the filter, so you have a, an effect on how that how that comes out. I don't know if it's the it's the music or just the way it makes you feel or whatever. I mean, I still feel like I'm 19 years old. You can't ever quit, and you know if you believe in yourself, you can quit. Music is my life. I personally wanted someone to to have a someone who's musical, which would be Fairbairn, and very much so, uh, to have a, just an outside ear to he kind of makes you look at your own music in a different perspective. Bruce, Bruce is so cold. Bruce is such a cold little guy. The way he does things, it's like you don't, you end up not arguing, it never gets to the other guys. If you're, you're dealing with him directly, hey Bruce, I like that part of my dad's great. And uh, also the fact that he, uh, he actually made me kind of nervous playing around him, which was good. You know, he kind of puts fire under your ass and makes you, makes you try to impress him a little better. Because he's worked with a lot of good people. It's like, you know, I don't want him to think I'm, uh, that I'm not what I'm cracked up to be, you know. There's been a movie called In My Bourbon had, had called The Seventh Seal, which is really where I'm coming from. It's an old, tripped out thing of playing with death. Uh, which is the same thing. Right? And the way things work in this band is like the brothers will always agree. So it's now always no, no, no. He's That's setting that up. Ed had this poster of cream, <laughs> and I, I wanted to get Ginger Baker out of it. He was a cut. Oh, wait a minute, no, no. 
Here's what happened. It became no, because what happened was it became a psychological thing. I wasn't. I was never gonna cut it out. I was just so ticked off that he would not let me have it. He would have said you can have it, and I would have just left it. But it became one of these. How was I supposed to know that? I know. I think we respect each other enough to to where if let's put this way, if three out of four think a certain way, then odd man out. Well, the best I can do is go to Mike and, and like pay him off or like really you know, try to get Mike and <laughs> then you got a battle. And then the second I leave the room, the brothers get Mike and convince what him we the other way had, and then I come no, back in the room me more. and it's three against they one and I more. never get my way in this band and I'm sick of it. It's extremely high from live performance, but it also is extremely draining and it kind of wears you out. You couldn't function on that high for very long. And it's nice. I like the pendulum theory. I like to go completely in the opposite direction and just hole up in a room on tour uh, a lot of times just to get that the opposite thing of complete relaxation because that high on stage is zero relaxation. <laughs> But still, getting up in front of an audience on stage is uh, instant gratification. Yeah! Amsterdam, which is my... Da -da 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 -da, I really like getting into it. So yeah, it does... Each one invokes a different thing. <laughs> 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 Don't forget, go for it, okay? Stop. <laughs> I'll just stay right here. No. <laughs> The, the truest part of us is just being musicians, because uh, we're first and foremost, I think I can speak for everybody in the band, we are musicians and we love playing music. And we're just, we're ourselves. I mean, uh, everybody conjures up this big image of party and, and whatever, and we did the same, the same way. You know, when we, before we did our, our first tour, I read about things that bands did on, on tour, and I'm going, oh, God, I can't wait to go out and do that. I just enjoy going out on the road and, and playing music and meeting new people. We're starting rehearsal in February and I think uh, we're going on tour in March.